Okay, I'm going to just say two words. Informational and delusional. That was true. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, using so your word are, against Are you. we the delusional ones, you think? technically three, actually. But you, do you think we're the delusional ones? We all are. Okay, <laughs> everyone. Well, let me ask you this. How are we delusional? Specifically. Uh-oh. Just like women have their delusional moments, so do you guys. Okay, can you tell us how we're delusional, specifically? Which part? I thought we were trying to, like, get, get on with the show. Uh, nah, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what? We're going to pause the show for one second. Okay. For you to answer this yeah. question. Yeah, right. Hey, don't worry. I'm going to go back as well, but I, this is just interesting. Just how how are we quick, delusional, how are, specifically? How are fresh and fit delusional, if you would? The facts aren't always checked, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, no, we don't, we, we don't know what you're saying. Fact. Please tell us. It's a fact. fact. Also, right. men are way more logical than women. So if anyone's delusional, it's, it's going to lean more to the women. True. That's why people are... are they got all the answers. Like, Wait, you said that's not other. true? That no, men because are, there's so many men out there beating the shit of each other. There's because a, they can't even talk about their feelings. That's not true. That's just called test. You don't think it's so? Driving the point. When you look at like abuse in relationships, like oh, usually there's a lot of men. Oh, let's not get into the stats on who's abusing you in relationships. Or men that's like fighting each other out there because they get really pissed or text Say that. Is that because you're married to a woman? I'm not married to a woman. I'm just saying, a lot of times women go with women because a, they go with women because they sort of hate men secretly. So that's what you they think do. We hate men secretly. Well, you just you were kind of just throwing them under the bus. These very nice gentlemen. No, you were say, you were saying that men are not as emotional as women, which I completely. Don't. So why the fuck do we have so many men that's out there beating the shit of each other? Okay. Like that's facts. That is true. Rational thinking is like it's been scientific. But they're taking it out physically and in anger. So of course they are that's emotional. True. Anger is an emotion. That's not a bad I mean, if you want to use the metric of violence, emotional. If, if you want to use the metric of violence, I mean, lesbian couples have the highest rates that's of. Domestic violence. Women. But that Women. Does not the thing mean is, that is that men are not being emotional by being the shit of a yeah, like it does I'm not happen. arguing we that. We have to agree that men are emotional because they no, are. No, of course, of course. So men, men have emotions just like women do. Yeah. However, when a man is emotional, there's typically consequences to it because it ends in violence or some kind of issue. If men don't control their emotions, you end up with school shooters, terrible people, criminal, etc. But when women, you know, they're allowed to not have to control their emotions, and it's not the so same. So they start crying, and that's so much worse than women have way more. Physical. <laughs> they have way more hormones, first of all, that, that allow them to be mother right. and have children that have more emotional connection. Men are just naturally more logical. If you're they're talking about that's violence, that's not, not a true. bad thing. Always, it's actually a good thing. I'd rather have a man that can beat the shit out of someone than a beta male who just sits there and hands me a credit card. And that's card. why MLD let's wrap up with the, the let's wrap up with the final and two he was girls walking out crying hold on listen like there's one there's one rule if the host is speaking the women shut up sorry so because um, I want to get through this we have a lot to do and I know there's gonna be a lot of catting going on and we'll let that happen throughout the show uh, last two girls give your opinion on fresh and fit and we'll get back to the to the show okay so opportunistic debatable educational Okay. Opportunistic in which way? Um, I just mean that you guys give us opportunity to come on here, express ourselves, and to also learn about your perspective as well as learning ours. So that would make you opportunistic, not us. How does that make me opportunistic? Because you literally said, because we give you the opportunity. But we, yes. get, we get what we're trying to say. But yeah. <laughs> that would mean that. That would mean that. Yeah. Potato, potato. All right. All right, last one. What's up, what's up, guys? Um, from my experience, I feel like you guys are caring from the situations I had. Um, and also, I feel like you guys are easily impressionable. And resilient. I'll say that too. Every battle and war, y'all just somehow come out still. But y'all are very impressionable. She yeah. gave the most bipolar answer ever. She's like, I love you, but I hate you, too. I know. Yeah. I hate you, Myron, but I love you. I want to... Well, I was going to go back. Yeah. So, uh, so you said you don't like us. Why specifically? Because I think uh, in a podcast, everybody can share their opinions. And if you don't like it, you can respect. But That's it. isn't it fair that an opinion can still be incorrect? Depends. Who is the owner of the truth? You are the owner of the truth? No, but the thing Nobody is, is that... Nobody is the owner of the truth. It's here's, his podcast. It's, so it, here's the thing. If, if, if I say something that's true or someone else says something that's true, it doesn't mean that I own the truth. It's just that I'm reporting the truth. The truth 
always stands. But opinions don't necessarily always stand unless it is the truth. Opinions are opinions. But opinions can be incorrect. Yes. And I think right. that's the problem is that so many women think that their opinions are valid regardless of how ludicrous they might sound. Right. But we don't tell women that like, you're wrong because we want to fuck them. Right. That's the truth. Right. You know what I mean? Like, women don't get negative feedback for being wrong or for poor actions, poor decisions. Rarely if ever, you know, because we have an entire industry that's predicated on selling to women. So advertisers understand this. It's better to give women comforting lies versus harsh truths. That's how they sell. That's why women control three quarters of the debt and 80% of the consumer base. Or that's why there's plus size women on Sports Illustrated. I just said it. Yes, I did. <laughs> for example, oh, no, look at the ratio. For example, when I was in your podcast, I say that for me is really important in a man that be a spiritual. And you, you funny about me in your podcast, you know? What? If for you, if this is not important for me, it's important, and you don't respect. Being what, spiritual? That's why, that's why I say you have to respect other opinions, because if for you, a high-value man don't need to be a spiritual, for me, a high-value man. Can you explain what you mean by spiritual? In the, in, the podcast, so in the podcast, you say, you funny about me, because my answer. That's why I say I don't like it because you doesn't respect another opinion. Was that me or John? I think you're t t uh, talking about John with the spirituality. Yeah, but thing. it's context because, for example, you say spiritual, but the end of the bill is ultimately yes, have some money. Yeah, least. what do you mean by spiritual? Are you talking like airy signs and stuff? So, <laughs> a good habit, meditation, healthy lifestyle, you know? And when I were talking about that, for you, this is not a high value man. I told you. For you, high value man is only to have a good position, a good job, or a good money, or a company, you know? But for me, two things are very important. But for you, this is incorrect, you know? That's well, why I only say women I get the like privilege. It. Only women get the privilege of, you know, prioritizing spirituality in the hierarchy of being successful because you guys aren't judged on what you create. You can say some bullshit like I'm an Aries or I'm a Gemini and use that to excuse poor behavior. <laughs> if I'm a bum and I say I'm an Aquarius, they're gonna <laughs> laugh at me and I'm not gonna be taken seriously. That's, true. Right. That's the truth. That's like, true. Men, yeah. That's true. men don't have the same ability to be delusional that women can. Women have the privilege of saying I'm spiritual. Like as a man, if you say you're spiritual, that's cool, assuming you're somebody first. So you gotta live in reality, then choose like to go Russell into that Brand. realm. He's but cool because he makes money and he's spiritual. The point is, is that you gotta live in reality first. <laughs> And then decide if you want to go the spiritual route. As a woman, you don't have to. You can just be in the spiritual world all the time and it's use true. horoscopes and all this other stuff. But for me, the man can have two. But, for example, you are a successful... You're missing a big point, though. You are a, you are a successful guy with your company or your business. I don't know what you do. But... <laughs> <laughs> you're on the show. You don't even know what he does. It's you're on the show right It's example. I don't want to unrespect you. This is example. Myron, what do you do again? <laughs> That's what you do, Myron. What is it that you do exactly? Whose podcast is this? Okay. I'm confused. 7-Eleven. Guys, 7-Eleven. Everybody hold hands real quick. I don't even got to say things sometimes. <laughs> the spirits are with us. Yeah. Everybody my hold hands. It's all good. Let's get back to Let's get back to my question. Okay. I had one more. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh one more. God. And then you said harmful. Why harmful? Because I don't think that you guys' reality is the real reality outside, out of this Miami city and the podcast itself. What specifically? I don't, I don't think that the advice that you guys are giving is, or some advice is good. Some advice, like getting your shit together, like getting a job, working hard, working out, those things are great. But when it comes to relationship advice, I don't agree. Okay, what do you disagree with I specifically? Agree. What I disagree with specifically? Um, I don't think that trying to build up men by very, very shallow things, like getting money or um, having that car or having this sort of image. But you just said a second ago that building yourself up is good. Yeah, it is for yourself, <laughs> but not for just attracting other people out there. Because in that case, if, if, let's say that you lose all those things. There's just no way that your partner in that case is going to stay with you. She should be with you for you and your interest. And Melina, your if you, and you're married you to Destiny, shout mm -hmm. out to Destiny. If Destiny was broke and 300 pounds, would you be in love with him? I would be in love with him, yes. Bullshit. Sure. I mean, <laughs> you could say that, Stop. but I mean, it's, I'm being Stop honest. It. No, I'm fully honest no, no, with I'm you. I'm not saying, I'm not saying yes. that if he lost his money now and something happened to him now, you'd stick by your man. Respect, yes. right? Yeah, because I'm saying I love him for the things that's Destiny, not the shallow things. And that's what I you think you Destiny, guys should. I think you guys should question, try to build up Stop people that. in that <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah? If you met Destiny and he was 300 pounds and he had zero subscribers on YouTube and he's like, I'm going to be a gamer, you would have not given him a second chance. Of course I would. 
Because there are, there are, Does anybody believe at this point? There are things. Hell I like no. him for his you're opinions. So I like him for the Kathy, way he is, his like, humor. Okay. I like him for his that intelligence. Is... That's the things that I love him for. So does yeah. intelligence pay the bills? Intelligence and his heart? Because it's you, it's the personality. But that's it's what not pays the bills. It's not your money. So if you're homeless, and you have no car and no house, nothing to feed the kids. I don't know if you have any. Why do you want but to go to like, like the most extreme examples? Because I'm telling is, you that. It's not extreme. Though. Wait, are you, are you going to argue for like though. what I'm attracted to? I'm not, okay, I'm not attracted to people that have cars and money. That's not what I'm attracted to. Well, people because people like you cats. are only <laughs> attracted to those things. You would that's ditch your true. guy right that's away. My of guy course you would. But Way why in that me. case? Yeah, but why the fuck are you arguing and saying that I would leave it? Because if you're the same as me. women look for men that have resources that can be present, but provide, protect. But you don't. Protect. You just told me that, you didn't, that you're not, right? I'm an anomaly, darling. Yo, just so you're going to tell me how I feel? Okay, I, I understand <laughs> where you're coming from saying, you're saying like the cars and the money whatever cool that might not be as attractive to you but it's important right Perfect. for the guy to have it i've to always have stability and like your yeah because within the, you. The, yes i do the, agree with those the thing things. that women never want to admit is that and I've, I've said this a million times you know all girls are gold diggers some are just be better at hiding the shovel yep. and what i mean by that right is you got the girl that says i want ambition or i want drive blah 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 which is code term for the ability to procure resources for a later time for me. Or there's some girls that are overt about it. I want to, I got a big shovel. I need a guy that's a millionaire, et cetera, because I make money or I, I deserve it. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can sit here and say, I like him for him. But the, the thing is this, women typically just end at 10, but they don't go one, two, three, four, five. The man has to count one, two, three, four, five, because he's not going to get to 10 and even be seen mm -hmm. unless he has certain prerequisites. Only women are loved under the condition that they provide no value. Men must provide value. I don't. That's just how it is. I think that's how it is in Miami, yes. And like no, cities no. like this. I okay. It's not just in Miami. Here's the thing. Okay. okay. You know what? Let's I've probably go with that. lived in more countries let's, and cities let's go than with most that. of you guys. So, so Miami, I, I have a lot of, yeah. For so here in Miami, mm -hmm. it's celebrated to have a big shovel and be overt about it. Okay? <laughs> Maybe I go to Nebraska, whatever, and they have smaller shovels, but it does not change the fact that women yeah. still I want a man that's true. I that can provide like resources. I think that's true. 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 I think that's true.